is the cable toe symbol, extracted from Albert Pike, the porch in the middle chamber. The Book of the Lodge, the Hebrew word, kabel, means a rope, and especially a measuring line or cord. And has a field measured, an inheritance or possession. She led him down by a couple through the window, Joshua 15, wherever the silver cobble be loose, Ecclesiastes 6. Thy land shall be divided by a cobble, Amos 17. And he smote Moab, and measured them with a cobble, Twin Samuel 2. As he that lieth upon the end of a cobble, Proverbs 34. Here Jesenius thinks the word means a large rope on a vessel, perhaps the cable attached to an anchor. The same word, as a verb, means to tie a rope, to bind someone by a pledge. And hence, as a noun, a pledge, also received as a pledge, or a pledge. For thou hast taken a cobble from thy brother. Job 6. Take a cobble of him for a strange woman. Proverbs 13. For he taketh a man's life as cobble. Deuteronomy 6. Nor take a widow's clothing to cobble. Deuteronomy 17. If thou take thy neighbor's clothing to cobble. Exodus 5. They take the widow's ox for a cobble. Job 3. And take a cobble of the poor. Job 9. Elsewhere it means a sailor, i.e., one who handles the ropes, as rap hot cobble, mariners. The plural of the noun, cobbling, bonds or bands. I took unto me two staves, once called beauty, and the other cobbling, bands or bonds. I cut asunder mine other staff, cobbling, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the third person singular possessive pronoun his is indicated by Hebrew vav, Hebrew tav, two affixed to the word, and accordingly we find, Kabbal to Kabbal Yashayab, hath restored to the debtor his pledge. Hence, when you had been obligated, and so were bound to us by a stronger tie or pledge, you were free from your cable toe. And so, when a candidate is required to do certain acts, if within length of his cable toe, the meaning is, if within the spirit of his pledge or obligation, the letter killeth, but the spirit maketh alive. 2 Corinthians 3 6. The cable toe, therefore, is the hieroglyphic of a pledge or obligation, and it not only means the candidate's pledge and obligation, which, to become a neophyte, he must take to the order and to every individual brother. But that, wearing it, he represents men and nations, all whose rights of property, liberty, conscience, and life, and they themselves, shadows in the form of human creatures and peoples, are pledged to their masters, as an article of clothing or of furniture is to the pawnbroker, excerpt from Esotrica by Albert Pike.